Hey, what's up? John Sonmez here. So I got this question about is working hard really worth it? And I think this is interesting because I've, I've kind of wondered this sometimes, like we all kind of wonder, is it worth working hard? Is it better to just be lazy? But uh, let's let's read the question and, and I'll see what, uh, see what I got to say about this. So he says, I've been wondering lately if the work I'm putting into bettering myself as a software developer is worth it. My wife is frustrated that I never want to go out and do things because I'm too busy. And I also don't have time to enjoy any of my hobbies. I love the idea of working less hours for more money or being retired early. Are, are the future dividends worth the pain I'm putting myself and my family through right now? My wife understands my ambition, but it doesn't make things much easier for her. Okay, so this is a tough one, all right? And, and there's a couple of reasons why I'll say this is tough. is because, <laughs> uh, because because in the end right so so you're asking me this question because I'm kind of there right so I worked really really hard for a while and now it's, it's kind of funny right now actually I'm in this period of my life in this time kind of this year where I was kind of taking a, a break from work I actually divested myself from being the CEO of Simple Programmer and I've turned it over to my business partner Josh who's, who's running the company. I'm still involved but not not very actively involved in it. I'm doing YouTube videos but I'm not doing much else, right? Like I'm not, I'm, I'm doing some stuff managing my real estate and stuff but I'm not really working what I would call a job at this point. Right? I'm, I'm kind of like, you know, if I want to play some video games or something like that, I, I have that opportunity to do that. I've got a lot of, quote, free time, right? I can do what I want with my time. Um, and, you know, I can travel wherever, I don't have to worry about money. Is it worth it? <laughs> Is it worth it? Uh, to, to some degree, you know, I have to tell you that, like, it's kind of boring. <laughs> well, it's kind of boring, but it's not, right? Like, having that freedom, it's good and it's bad, right? It's it's almost depressive. Like, I've actually been more of a de depressive funk since I've given myself more of that freedom than I would have expected. And, you know, it just doesn't feel like super great. But on the other hand, right, having the freedom, like just knowing I have it is, is awesome, right? So, so what I'm probably going to end up doing, and I will end up doing, is I'm going to be busting my ass working hard on something, okay? I don't know exactly what it is yet. I don't know what my next project is, right? But I'm not going to stop working because that, that would suck. So w the reason why I'm telling you this is, is simply I'm, I'm starting from the end because I want you to realize that when you hit that day when you retire young okay and you do and you can work less and make more money that's not necessarily going to be as great as what you think it is okay a lot of people think it i thought the same thing i mean hell m most of my life right as, a, as an adult i was working towards early retirement and my goal my dream in life if you ask me was to retire young and to be able to be free and to be able to do what i want okay to be able to play video games all day s sit on the beach right, sipping pina coladas, whatever it is, I just wanted to like be a kid again, have fun, be on permanent summer vacation. That's a good way to say it, okay? Now, when I hit that and I hit that, you know, the, the ability to do that, right, about, was it like five or six years ago, okay, it was not quite as exciting as I expected, okay? In fact, it was kind of scary. It was not like all it was cracked up to be. So I just want you to know that like when you hit that, it's not gonna be this amazing thing. Like what, what you're working for is, can't be that you can just be like totally free and retired young. I mean, some people do that, sure, but I, I don't think that that's gonna be quite the reward that you're seeking. Instead, here, here's the thing, like, and I'm gonna try and break this down and give you the best advice I can here, but, you know, fr from experience here, but I'm, I'll tell you this, is that I still think it's worth it, and it's because the thing is, like, there's a reward in itself in working hard, right? I think I've got some videos on working hard and whatnot, but I honestly mean this, like, some of the best times in life where I felt the most fulfilled have been after I've worked really hard, after I've accomplished something that I really put my heart and soul into, right? Uh, there's just something about that and, and something about the process of working really hard that it's like we're built for it, okay? At least I am. I'm built for that. I've, I've kind of noticed that as I've been, you know, slacking off and whatnot and I'm about to kind of hit the hit the ground really hard next week again, even though I've only taken a little breather because I feel like I need to and I need to do that enough because that's what makes me feel alive, okay? And so the benefit of just working hard in itself is great, but from the from the bigger picture of things, okay? Like if you work hard now, 
you won't have to work hard later. And here's the thing, this is, this is the key to this, right? I wasn't sure where I was going with this video when I first started answering it, but I'm sure now, which is this is the key. The key is the words you don't have to. It doesn't mean you don't, okay? It just means you don't have to. See, the difference in the quality of my life that I would never trade anything for, that I'm glad I worked as fucking hard as I did and made the sacrifices that I did, is that I'm in a position now where I don't have to. There's no one that can tell me fuck all about anything that I have to do in my life. There's no one. There's no one that can tell me what I have to do. I don't have to work. I don't have to go into an office. I don't have to fucking do jack shit. And the money still comes in and I still get to travel and live a life of luxury without having to do it. Now, it doesn't mean I don't. I bust my ass. You guys know who watch this channel, I'm still putting out two videos a day here. And you know, not that creating YouTube videos is necessarily busting your ass, but I'm working, I'm doing all kinds of shit. I've been doing shit for a long time since, ever since I quote retired, I bust ass, okay? But it, I do it because I don't have to. And there's, there's so much more beauty and freedom in that and not having to. Okay. And, and plus, you know, just from a very pragmatic and practical standpoint, you'll set yourself up for the future. Yes. Working hard is worth it because being able to have passive income, being able to like achieve those, those things and have access to the opportunities that you don't have when you don't have money, when you're fucking poor, when you're fucking broke, when you're always stressed about, you know, where's your next paycheck going to come from? It, it doesn't make sense. Deferred gratification is totally worth it. Okay. Some people take it too far. Some people just like work like a dog trying to defer gratification forever and then they never get to enjoy it so there's a balance there but I think it's phases it's seasons in life right so there was a period in my life where uh, earlier in my life where I was kind of just kind of working the job and kind of being lazy you know I was young and you know I was watching TV playing video games whatnot and my life wasn't really going anywhere I wasn't really setting myself up very well for the future except for that I was getting some skills and I was doing some real estate investment okay but I hit this other phase, right? Uh, you can you can watch this video on what my life was like seven years ago. I think it's like eight or nine years ago now, but <laughs> I guess it's eight years ago or, or whatever it is. Anyway, I hit this other phase where I started busting ass, okay? That's when I started Simple Programmer. I started the blog, okay? I eventually started this YouTube channel. I started doing a bunch of courses for Pluralsight. I started creating an online business, right? I started doing all kinds of stuff, writing books, right? Uh, to make money and to really work hard to be able to be able to actually be free and retire and escape the rat race. And I busted ass really hard. I mean, there were weeks where I was working a full-time job and I was working after work for like five, six hours every night, working every weekend, you know, major sacrifices for on, on everyone in my life, right? Including myself. Um, but I did that for like two and a half years. And what ended up happening was I got to the point where I became financially free. Okay. Where I'm at now. And it was totally worth it. And now, you know, and even in the last like few years, I haven't had to work as hard. Now it doesn't mean I haven't been busting ass. Of course I've been busting ass, but I haven't worked as hard as I had to back then. And I have the leisure, I have the ability to leave, right? So, you know, every year I usually take a trip for a month or two months or three months and I travel. Last year I traveled around Europe for two months. This year I'm going to be going to Barcelona. I'm going to be going to Hawaii. I'm going to be taking a cruise around, uh, around the Mediterranean. Like I'm going to do all that kind of stuff and I've got the ability to do it. One, because I have money and two, because I have uh, freedom, right? I can actually go in and do this stuff. And, and, I'm, and I do that, right? So I work hard, but then I take some leisure and any day I want to, I could take a day off and do jack shit, right? And I don't have to report to a boss or, or worry about if the money's gonna come in or not. So that's the benefit of working hard. It's not that you're just gonna be able to be lazy and not, not do anything for the rest of your life because that would suck, okay? Uh, you know, and some people, maybe they would like to do that, but I can't do that, okay? But uh, it, it's the fact, like I said, you know, when, when I talked about how I didn't know the purposes of this video and how I was going to answer this, but I do now, which is I don't have to. That's the key is when you work hard, the benefit that you get for working hard right now and making these sacrifices is that you'll be able to live your life later where you might still be working hard. Okay. But you don't have to. And that's the difference. That's a key difference in everything. Right. I mean, here's the thing, right? 
I could put you, <laughs> I could basically put you in a prison, all right? And you, you could be on, under house arrest and you could like live your life, you know, in your house, let's say, like, let's say that's your, your prison and you could be fine. You could be fine living your life until I tell you that you're in prison, until I tell you you're in house arrest, until I tell you you can't leave, right? You might have just lived your life in your house and been fine or within a, like a one mile radius. But if I told you you can't leave a one mile radius, okay? you will feel like you're in prison because you have to stay there, right? If I tell you, you, you might sit in a cell, like in a prison cell, and read a book, okay, for, you know, have some time, right? It could be a meditation retreat, right? But if I tell you you can't leave because it's prison, now it's prison. Do you understand what your mind does? And so that's the thing is like, if you know that you're compelled, that you're forced to do something and you don't have a choice, it's going to be prison. So the whole point of doing this hard work, the whole point of putting forth this ambition uh, to some degree, is to escape that prison by changing it from I must or I have to, to I choose to, right? And, and you can have this attitude even while you're, quote, in prison in life, but there's, there's one thing about having the attitude and one thing about it being the actual reality that you don't have to do anything, that you can sustain that style of living that you're comfortable to or, or whatever it is uh, without having to do something. And I'll say one last thing on this, this whole subject. Uh, there's just you know, a, a secondary benefit of working hard, okay? And I talk about how it makes you the more fulfilled than just about anything in your life, but it makes you become a better person, right? Like when you bust ass, when you make sacrifices, when you have ambition, you can feel good about yourself because you're growing, right? You're facing challenges. And every time you face these challenges, you're growing in some way to, to overcome these obstacles. And so, you know, I wouldn't have it any other way. I, I, I'm glad that life is hard. I'm glad that I went through difficulties and struggles and went through working really, really hard periods of sacrifice in my life and that I still will to some degree, right? Maybe not as, mu as much, uh, but I'm glad for that because that's made me who I am. I wouldn't be who I am. I wouldn't be standing here. I wouldn't have the confidence to talk to you and tell you about what you should do in life and be on a YouTube channel, right? And in, in, in giving this message had I not gone through that, that, that hard work. So, uh, you know, so again, you know, I would say, yes, is hard work really worth it? Yes, it, it, is, it is absolutely worth it. But make sure that you're getting the benefit from it, right? And how do you get the benefit from it? Uh, by realizing that the thing that you're after is not that fucking pina colada on the beach. It's the ability to take it when you want. <laughs> That's the thing. It's it's changing it from have to to I get to and, and to, to, to not have to. When you have to do things, then they suck. When you don't have to do them, uh, they're a lot better, I'll, I'll tell you, all right? So, if you found this video useful, and I hope you did, make sure you share it with someone, okay? And make sure you click the subscribe button, click the bell so you don't miss any videos. I'll talk to you next time, take care.